Top 2019 upcoming anime. Kicking off this list is Mob Psycho 100 Season 2. A little funny because this is coming from the same author of one who also did the smashing hit One Punch Man. Mob Psycho Season 1 came out back in 2016. It told the story of this overpowered psychic user Mob and about his normal everyday life. It was like One Punch Man, except if he was a psychic type. Mob Psycho Season 1 was quite a spectacle visually, and oh that kick-ass opening theme. With Mob Psycho Season 2, Mob returns to fight some more super-powered and supernatural beings. And by the way, I have read the manga, so I could tell you that Mob Psycho Season 2 should wrap up Mob's supernatural adventure. It'll have this nice broccoli bow at the very top. You can be sure that your eyes will orgasm the second time from this high-quality animation. At least I hope so. At number 9, the Konosuba movie, which is actually titled Konosuba the Crimson Legend. Did someone say explosion? Are you ready to go back to Fantasy Australia with the useless bunch? Megumin, Kazuma, Darkness, and the useless Aqua are ready to go back into debt one more time. This time, the more developed Megumin counterpart. And I'm talking about Union in case you forgot about her. She's got the great misfortune to join up their party. The awesome part about this is that they actually just released the first official trailer on Christmas. Go ahead and check that out, I did a whole breakdown on it. It's very much looking like for this Konosuba movie, you're gonna have the useless guys traveling back to Megumin's village. In other words, they are moving forward with the canon Konosuba story, past season 2. That's right, this Konosuba movie is not only gonna be canon, but very very likely a setup for Konosuba season 3 and season 4. You could expect a Konosuba season 3 announcement or cliffhanger at the very end of this movie. Talk about hype. Next up at number 8, The Promised Neverland. This is actually one of the few anime series coming next year on my list that's not a sequel. This is finally the weekly Promised Neverland series getting its anime debut. To be honest, I've been trying really really hard to stay in the dark about this new series, but that has been extremely hard. I keep on hearing nothing but great things about the Promised Neverland manga. I've seen a lot of people comparing this to top series like Death Note or even Attack on Titan, so that's definitely fueling my hype even more for this. That being said, I do have a couple of concerns. The first is actually a minor one, and that is, let's just say the unique character's designs for its cast, which is both good and bad in my book. For the longest, I really wasn't sure whether the main character Ginger was a girl or dude, and honestly, I'm still not 100% sure. Either way, I'm sure that their looks will grow on me. Besides, story is most important. As for my second concern, which even fans would agree on, is that the season is only going to be 12 episodes. So, just how much of the story will they actually be able to cover in such a short season? Trust me when I say this, that it's often pretty difficult to tell something fulfilling in only 12 episodes, let alone a full story. I would say that a lot of 12 episode anime series fail at this. But either way, definitely put the Promised Neverland on your watch list. That's coming soon in Winter Anime Season 2019. Next up, can you say One Punch? Freaking finally, One Punch Man Season 2. For whatever reason, it looks like they decided to take a page out of Attack on Titan by making you wait 4 years. Either way, the super overpowered hero Saitama is returning in Spring 2019. One Punch Man Season 1 was such a colossal hit back in 2015. It actually got so much attention when it came out that even non-anime fans got interested. They previously left our heroes after they defeated that god level threat. Officially Dragon Plus. The question is, what could be next? It's time for the Hero Association to fight against the Monster Association, along with the new hero killer, Garo. Is Garo a human, a monster, or something closer to One Punch Man? But honestly, the biggest opponent for One Punch Man Season 2 may in fact be the studio. No longer Madhouse, but JC staff. Let's just see if they could actually deliver high quality animation like One Punch Man Season 1. You and I will definitely be watching and comparing super closely. Next up at number 6, Isekai Quartet, which is really the crazy idea that came out of some drunk executive asking the question, hey, wouldn't it be fun to see ReZero, Konosuba, Overlord, and Tanya if they all took place in the same Isekai world? Technically, ReZero and Konosuba already had their own crossover title adventure in the manga, not to mention that Konosuba cameo in the ReZero anime. But now you're gaining plus 2, the boner daddy Ainz with his Overlord cast and the little evil Tanya. I'm not sure whether to be more surprised about Overlord or Tanya. This Isekai Titans 4 adventure actually got announced at the end credit scene for the recent ReZero special that hit theaters. 
The only question is, what exactly is going to be the story? Are they going to be fighting? Because you know who's going to win. Either way, I personally just love this idea. You always get all the lead surprise hits that go on to become super popular anime series. Then you run into the problem, that being no new season. Oh, you want a season 2? Or sequel? Just maybe you'll get that in 3 or 4 years. And of course, that being for multiple reasons that I'm not going to get into here. This Isekai Quartet anime now gives fans of all four of these top anime series something to chew on until the next season. For me, this is really going to be a little appetizer for stuff like Konosuba and ReZero. The other two are just a nice bonus. Let's hope they don't taste bad. Number 5, the second ReZero special. So time to revisit the best girl Rem, Shiny Rem, Subaru, and the white bitch. I mean witch. I actually got a chance to see the first ReZero special twice in Japan. It was pretty nice to revisit the ReZero world, but honestly, nice is the best thing I could probably say about that. However, this second ReZero special should have a lot more substance, especially for anyone waiting for a ReZero season 2 announcement. If that sounds like you, definitely listen up. This second special is supposed to be completely focused on Emilia. And I know, I know. But besides for the dozen of Emilia fans out there, ReZero fans overall should be super hyped too. This special is supposed to go back in time and reveal how Emilia first met Puck. Yeah, that adorable fluffy kitty. More important is that this is basically a soft ReZero Season 2 confirmation. The history between Amelia and Puck is going to be super important for the next arc in the ReZero story. That's why, definitely expect a Season 2 announcement or an end credit scene after this special. Coming in at number 4, Yuri Camp Season 2, which is a follow-up to one of the best new anime seasons I've seen this year. Euro Camp or Layback Camp is a slice of life type of anime. It follows the adventure of a couple of girls as they camp out throughout Japan. Yeah, it's that simple, but extremely enjoyable. If you haven't checked this out yet, definitely treat yourself. And by the way, just to show how much I enjoyed it, I actually started watching Yuri Camp on the plane trip over to Japan. After only like 2 or 3 episodes, I could just feel that it was going to make my top 10 anime list of this year. Number 3, SAO Alicization The Second Core, that being part 2 out of 4. That's right, Kirito's adventure into the underworld has only just begun. You saw Kirito's adventure going from wood shipper to swordsman trainee to elite swordsman at the academy. Unfortunately, playtime is over. Forget about all those boring one-hit sword skill matches. Kirito and Yuji are practically going up against the whole world. The underworld in this case. If you haven't been keeping up, they just pissed off over 30 integrity knights. Unlike the rest of the underworld citizens, integrity knights actually have the sword skills and sacred arts to kill. They practically do that on a daily basis. Oh, and don't forget that they also have multiple divine weapons and super high-ranking armor that they're fully equipped with. So Kirito and Nijo, forget about the administrator. You're worlds apart from reaching her at this point. Hope you're ready to suffer some more in the underworld. Number 2, the plus ultra anime, My Hero Academia returning with this fourth season. The bad news? You gotta wait until Halloween to get the new season. Despite that, every My Hero Macadamia hardcore fan should be super hyped for this season. Of course, you're going to be getting more of your favorites like Deku, Shoto, and Bakugo, but also more of the big three, which were the top students teased at the end of season three. The highlight being Medio. A lot of manga fans put this guy as his favorite even above Deku and Bakugo. But let's also not forget about the new villain. Kai Chisaki also got teased in the finale of season three. He thought All For One and Shigaraki were bad? Time for them to take a freaking break. This alchemist type of villain is up to smash. And Deku fans, don't you worry. You're gonna get more of Deku fisting more villains in Season 4. And the top upcoming anime, Attack on Titan Season 3, also known as Attack on Titan Season 4. Except they don't actually have the Titan balls to call it that. Either way, this new Attack on Titan Season will cover the Beast Titan arc. Arguably the best arc of the whole series for most hardcore Attack on Titan fans. What was that? You hated Season 3 for not having Titans? You thought the human versus human battles were lame? Well, here's the good news. This next Attack on Titan Season Part 2 will definitely make up for that. On top of that, you're going to go even further into the world building and reveals coming up. Eren and the rest of the Survey Corps are going back to their hometown to discover what exactly is inside of that damn basement. But little do they know is that they got buddies waiting there. Or maybe they do know. And I do wonder. I definitely see this new Attack on Titan Season potentially splitting fans when the truth is revealed. Is it simply going to reveal who the true Attack on Titan fans have always been? Either way, something that won't be debatable is the upcoming Titan action. If you're a colossal fan of seeing a lot of these giant Nenge guys, you're in for a treat. Will Eren, Mikasa, and Armin be able to make it out of this Clash of the Titans version 2.0 alive? Hope you like sushi and barbecue. But anyway, more important, let me hear from you now. 
question of the day. Which upcoming anime are you most hyped for? Did your favorite make it onto my list? Did I forget anything? Definitely go ahead and post down below. And by the way, I am working on my top anime for 2018. That'll be coming next Friday. But anyway, definitely give us a colossal thumbs up and subscribe. We don't want to miss my top anime picks for this year. And that'll actually be the third year in a row too. By the way, I did mention the Konosuba movie here. Definitely check out my in-depth video going into the latest Konosuba movie teaser. Be sure to hit bell notifications and I'll see you guys later.